Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me on my YouTube channel or website for another card video. Today I'm joining in the annual Whimsy Stamps 31 Nights of Halloween blog celebration, so be sure to hop over there and join in the fun. Also, all the products used during this video will be linked below and over on my website as well. I've created two cards using the No See Kinetics dies and Booty You stamps from Whimsy Stamps. The process for both cards are the same, so to keep the time of this video to a minimum, I'm only demonstrating one card. I will speed up through the coloring portion and creating the backgrounds. So here's a quick look at the adorable Boo to You stamp set by Whimsy Stamps. I'll be using the Frankenstein and Witch on my projects. I'm stamping the images using Memento Ink and the color Tuxedo Black. And I'm using 80 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. I'm using Copic markers to color the images. I have the colors listed above and in my blog post. And once the images are colored, I'm going to run them through my scan and cut. If you don't have a scan and cut, you could easily fussy cut these. I'm using inexpensive watercolor paper and I've die cut a piece of masking paper for the moon. I'm using Distress inks in the colors Black Soot and Picked Raspberry and start by applying the black soot on each end of the paper and then filling it in with Picked Raspberry, blending the two colors together. Peel off the masking paper and you can stop here or use blender sticks to add squeezed lemonade and fossilized amber to the moon. Then, using Fine Tech Gold Watercolor Palette, I add splatters of sterling silver to the background. So I have several videos on creating these backgrounds on my YouTube channel, and I'll be sure to link those at the end of this video for you. So here's the Frankenstein version of this card. He is so cute. I wanted to get a feel for the dies and how they work before trying to explain the process in a video and like I mentioned earlier the process for both cards are the same. So what you're seeing here are two sets of the No See Kinetic dies. It's the No See Kinetic Basic dies and the No See Kinetic Curved Basic dies. I just store them in one pocket. So to save time I've already die cut all the pieces I'm going to be using during this video. So this long piece, I'm calling it the pull tab for this video, is part of the basic die set. This lays in a track allowing me to pull and push my witch much like you see with other interactive cards. This piece is where the no C comes into play. This piece will be attached to the pull tab on one end and my witch will be attached to the other end allowing her to move without seeing any of the pieces. Next, we have these circles, and we're going to sandwich a 3D foam dot along with the pull tab in between them, holding that pull tab in the track. So, let's get started assembling all these pieces. I'm going to cut my card panel down to four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches using my paper trimmer. And I went ahead uh, and die cut a tree from the No See Kinetic All Season dies using glitter paper. And then I just split it down the center with my paper trimmer. And I'm going to use Gina K Connect Glue to adhere it to the card panel. Next, I'm going to decide exactly where I want that curved track and then run it through my die cutting machine. I want to be sure this card will stand up to the pulling and pushing, so I cut two of each piece to adhere together just to make them a little bit sturdy, and then I use Connect Glue to adhere them together. So after gluing this pull tab together, I'm going to set it aside for now. So here's the circle with the foam dot placed in the center and I'm going to lay my card panel over this making sure the foam dot is resting in the track. Lay my pull tab, tab down and now attach the other circle on top of the foam, foam dot. <laughs> my pull tab is ready to go. I'll flip the card panel over and adhere 3D mounting foam to the back. And when you're laying the foam down, just make sure that it doesn't interfere with the movement of the pull tab. I'm going to attach this to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. And then I'm just gonna make sure the pull tab is moving freely and it is, so I'm ready to move on. I have a fence already cut from the No See Kinetic Curved Heels and I decide the placement and then trim off excess using my paper trimmer. 
Here's a quick look at the next piece I'm using, and I think it's easier to follow along if I show the end result first, so here's a quick look at what I'm working on. This piece is going to fold up and over the fence, so I lay the fence on the card panel so that I can decide where I need to make my two folds. And remembering this piece is folding up and over the fence, I make sure to allow enough space between the first fold and second fold so it clears the fence without interference. So here's a quick tip. Before you glue these two pieces together, take one of the pieces and decide where you need to fold it. And it's easily foldable because it has embossed lines for you. Take the second piece and cut it into three pieces to fit on that folded piece. It keeps the creases from bulking up too much. And once I have it all glued together, I'm going to glue this whole piece to the top circle on the pull tab. And you'll notice I added another foam dot between the circles to give the room I needed to clear the fence. So I'm going to go ahead now and snip off the excess of the end of the pull tab. Now I'm ready to adhere the fence to the front of the card and I'm using black foam strips. Again, you just need to make sure the foam doesn't interfere with the movement of the pieces. So I decided at the last minute to heat emboss the sentiment on the front of the card. I'm using Hero Arts ink, Unicorn ink, and I positioned the stamp, lift it with the lid of my stamping tool, lay down anti-static powder, stamp the sentiment, add white embossing powder. I took the time to clean off any stray specks of embossing powder, and then I heat set it. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the rest of the sentiment on the inside of the card using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And using the Dracula's Coffin die set, I die cut three headstones and two bats. I'm using Connect Glue to adhere them to the front of the card behind the fence. When you're adding the headstones, make sure they don't interfere with the movement of the pull tab. I recommend adding these before you adhere the fence, or you can do it like I did and just make it up as you go along. <laughs> Now I'm ready to add the witch to the card. I'm using a mini action wobble to adhere her. I have to trim the sides off so they aren't showing, but I love how the mini action wobble gives her a little more movement. I also did the same with the Frankenstein card. So I'm adding 3D foam strips to the back of one bat and I'm going to position that on the card. And then I want to add a little bit of bling to the moon, so I add sequins just to give it some sparkle when the light hits it. And I'm going to finish this off by adding a few details with my white gel pen. So here's a quick look at the cards in action. They are so cute. These images are adorable. So I believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to head into your crafty space and create something amazing today. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content. And if you could hit that like button, that would be awesome. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my website where you can find videos and blog posts in one spot. And as always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.